watch my friend di hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we're going to do a set that is highly inspired by the talented um devota i will leave a link to her video if i remember down in the description box so i've got my nail tips ready these are the colors that i'm going to be using all from madden glam so we've got perfect red prime and perfect white so we're going to do some really really simple roses um with um blooming gel but i thought um as i haven't got blooming gel for madam glam i'll show that you can use um base coat so let's jump in so i'm just going to give um all the nails um two coats of prime so i'm just going to make sure that these nails are all dust free, but I bet you will get some dust. It's just a curse for me. So we'll do a nail or two and then we'll whiz through for the next step. So you want to do nice thin coats. You don't want the polish to wrinkle in the lamp. So I will do two thin coats and give them a matte top coat right so they've just come out of the lamp so i got my palette and i am going to put a drop of the red don't need much you don't want to waste and we can always add more if needed of the white And I am going to put some of the base coat on here because we are not going to paint the whole nail in the base coat because we only want it to bloom in certain areas. So I'm just going to grab a brush, just got an old brush, and I'm going to take a nail. And all we need is dotting tools. So I'm going to pick up some of the base coat. And then place the base coat down onto the nail where I want to put the flowers. So make sure that you do put a nice thin layer. Otherwise, um, the roses will bloom too much and they will just look a bit too messy. So you want two different size dotting tools. We're going to pick up a large dot of red put it down and then on the smaller side I'm going to take the white then take it up your dotting tool swirl it around one way wipe it off and then swirl it around the other way and just keep repeating this process with as many roses as you want because the gel isn't cured, you can take a fine detailer brush and add in some more details. So by here, I'm just going back in with the white polish just to define some of the leaves a bit more prominently. Remember, the longer you leave it, the further the roses with bloom. So as soon as you're happy with how they look, pop it in for a full cure. I'm going to repeat this process now on the remaining of the nails. But I am going to change the location of where I am going to place the roses just to mix it up a bit. So I'll put some short shots of this and then I'll see you at the next step. So this is what they look like. I've given them a matte top coat and... What I'm going to show you is the next step. I've just added in some tiny green leaf details and I made sure that when I was filling them in, I left some gaps so it's given it some dimension. So really, really easy to do. So if I take this one, so taking some green paint, you are almost painting like a triangle shape, but you're going to curve 
the sides if that make sense so like a squiggly or curved line on the one side curved line on the other side and join them at the top then into a point so i'm just going to continue to paint um one or two leaves around the flowers and then to keep in line with the theme of the nails when i'm filling the leaves in um i'm not fully coloring it in if that makes sense um it's very um like a light pressure so you can see some of the background color coming through and it just gives it some um, bit of depth and dimension and some highlights as well so like the light is catching um the leaves So I'm going to repeat drawing on some leaves now on the remaining nails and we're ready then for some finishing touches. So this is what they are looking like at the moment. I'm really, really pleased with how they have turned out so far. To finish it off, I'm going to put some caviar beads. And here is the final set. I am so pleased at how these come out. I think they are super effective, but so simple, easy to do. So yeah, my own twist on a recent set that Dorota Poliska um, I can't say her surname, unfortunately, but I'm sure you know who I'm on about. But yeah, so her recent set um, inspired this one. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one. So for now, it's goodbye. Hoyle Rao until next time. Bye, bye.